Uh, che, good to have you. Uh, you know, our viewers may not be familiar with your company to begin with, but it would seem moving all those boxes of goods around probably got more expensive. Are you able to send, are you able to pass that along to your customers, particularly given where you are in terms of the gestation of your company? Yeah, first and foremost, I hope uh, folks will be more familiar now that we are a, a public company. So uh, when it comes to moving around those boxes, uh, I think first and foremost, when you look at what we try to do, we definitely try to uh, make the cost better for us so that we don't have to pass along costs. So whether that's using kind of our own homegrown software, our transportation management system, using multiple carriers, all these different things we've been innovating on so that we can be prepared for this moment. What about the actual costs of packaging? I mean, it would seem that's another area that potentially <laughs> has gone up significantly. Uh, is it? That, yeah. So, I mean, you're seeing it all across the board. So, you know, one of the things that's more difficult to do is, is for us to make our own boxes. So we write our own software. We're trying to deliver our own packages these days. Uh, we're not going to make our own boxes. So definitely you're going to see some uh, uh, inflation there. Uh, but as Mike Wilson said before, um, certain industries are going to see uh, uh, demand destruction. But for us, I think when it comes to consumer packaged goods, you'll see a more of a demand shift. Uh, when you think about what we do, buying in bulk, uh, we have a great private brand. I think you're definitely going to see consumers start to shift as the prices get higher and higher. We certainly don't see the price, uh, uh, a price abatement anytime soon, um, but we'll do what we can to keep them low. Che, we know that uh, e-commerce and deliveries to the home really exploded and kind of turbocharged during the pandemic. As we move past the pandemic and as more people go out and, and, and look to shop outside of their home, are you seeing a slowdown in the rate of growth or is this a trend that continues to fire on all cylinders? That's a great question, Morgan, because we talked a lot about it on our last earnings call. Um, what you find about Box is because we are a wholesaler, pre-COVID, we were about 25% B2B, actually. And so as folks go back into, uh, uh, into stores, potentially, what you're going to see is a reacceleration of our B2B business. And as of our Q4 print last year, that business was up over 50% uh, off a, a, albeit lower baseline because of the demand destruction uh, of the B2B business uh, throughout COVID. Uh, but we're starting to see the shoots of recovery there. So it's the stickiest customer that we have. It's the most profitable customer that we have. So even as folks rotate back into stores, I think B2B will come back for us in a really big way. Interesting. So in terms of that B2B business, I mean, what are we talking about in terms of customers there and how quickly that's growing versus straight up consumers? Yeah, so that's definitely growing at, at the current rate uh, uh, faster than our consumer business. Uh, again, you know, at our last earnings call, over 50 percent growth uh, in that business. Uh, so we're definitely looking forward to seeing, hey, what happens in a post-COVID world as people come back not five days a week to the office, but even one day a week, three days a week, it's going to force offices to begin to restock their pantries. Um, and we certainly saw that in the sliver of hope uh, right before Delta hit and right before Omicron hit. And so hopefully uh, as we go into a post-COVID world in 22, you're really going to see some major reacceleration in that business. Che, are there categories where you are simply unable to get supply uh, at a reasonable price where you're telling customers no can do? Yeah, Carl. So it, it, it's um, it, it's really sector by sector. Um, uh, you know, as we moved into fresh foods uh, with with our most recent acquisition, uh, you're certainly seeing kind of um, uh, some of those prices rise. So beef is up over 15 percent across the industry year over year. There's certain things like that where um, there's nothing that we can do uh, uh, but pass some along some of those costs along to the customer. So when you get into some of those fresh foods, that's where you really see uh, some of those aspects, Carl.